Okay, hey, welcome to another episode of On The Wrist From Off The Cuff. Today we have a cool update for you that we kind of discussed during the full review for this piece. This is, of course, the Laco Flieger Pro to my own personal customized specification. And I love this watch. And part of that um, love comes from the fact that it is super versatile. Of course, um, Laco isn't the inventor of the A-Dial, although they are one of the first few to really make it something mainstream. Um, I will say that this watch, although the strap that it comes on is actually very plush and very period um, correct, at least in terms of the inspiration of the design aesthetic and everything like that, uh, I do have some other options here that I think uh, play really, really well on this particular timepiece, and I'm happy to share them with you. So uh, we have, of course, making an appearance, BNR bands. All of these uh, actually have been on my channel before. Um, you know, the manufacturer, um, at the very least, if not this particular strap themselves, um, or uh, you know probably tons on my Instagram. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you do because you'll get kind of a sneak peek behind the scenes. I know I haven't been updating it as much recently, but I do plan to use that more often. So definitely take a look there. Um, so we do have a tactical pilot band um, from BNR bands, also from strap code slash mill tat. There's this really cool canvas um, uh, band uh, that actually has a cool deployment buckle, which is going to be very, um, I guess, bracelet-like. Um, and then also from Haviston, we have the Roundel Enhanced, uh, which is a great, great strap and will look fantastic with these um, kind of pairing. So it doesn't necessarily have to be with a uh, Laco Flieger, you can really pair these straps to any Flieger or I'd say even any field watch almost as long as it's within that kind of classic aesthetic. But let's go ahead, zoom the camera out, take a look at these different straps and uh, see how they wear. All right, guys. So first off, let's go ahead and just put this on the wrist for, you know, while we check out some of the other strap options here. So as you can see on my seven and a quarter and in between seven and a quarter and seven and a half, um, it wears really great. This is a 40 millimeter pilot's watch, which I think is the perfect size for a pilot's watch. But let's go ahead and start with BNR bands. Um, these are great. You guys have seen them on my channel posted many times. Let me figure out where the opening is. Here we go. And ooh, let's check it out. So as you can see, guys, really, really nice. And this goes very much within kind of the theme. This looks like a pilot strap. It's actually marketed as a pilot strap. Um, this is something uh, definitely that IWC has made very, very popular with that stepped kind of taper right there, uh, where essentially it's going to go from 20 down to 18. And you can see this nice uh, pattern here. I like that notch taper with a squared off tail. You get that great box stitching, uh, which looks fantastic. And it's actually, these are crafted from a synthetic rubberized material that's heat stamped with that kind of Kevlar style pattern, which gives it a nice tactical kind of everyday look. And then of course, I think uh, the gray makes it very versatile. Check that out, guys. Now you're cooking with fire, very, very modern, and it just, gets way more versatile than you're gonna get from this nice dark chocolatey brown um, because now it still screams pilot, but now just a little bit more modernized, which I can appreciate. And then I think the gray uh, goes well with the blue tones on those heat treated hands. So very nice uh, from that perspective. Let's check out Havston. Um, these are some of my favorite uh, straps that are out there in terms of that kind of nylon NATO style. I think they've done a great job reimagining um, what these straps are like and how they could be. Check that out. Ooh, here we go. Let's go ahead and unweave this. Very premium, very plush, Ooh. and very kind of neatly wrapped. Um, as you guys can see here, very cool. Check that out, guys. So you're getting a single pass, which is great. You're also getting those reinforced holes. Um, and then you do have, of course, 
everything here is going to be nicely brushed. This um, is based off of the 1943 U.S. Air Force Star Rondel Insignia, um, which you know featured uh, additional kind of sidebars for greater um, visual recognition at distance. So that blue, look at that. That's just gonna play beautifully. And then just, you can see again, you have that flat tip, very aviation inspired, definitely very military inspired, looks really, really great. And you can just tell that that's gonna flow really, really well. Okay, last but not least, let's get into this strap code mill tat action. All right. So, as you can see, here you're going to get a, whoa, look at that, another touch of blue for the pairing. Very cool, especially since this actually has outer AR coating as well. Um, so you can see this nice canvas and then a really sweet um, deployant clasp there. So it's going to feel very solid on the uh, on the wrist and, and I'd say almost... Uh, bracelet like when you do that with the deployant so that way even when it's open it's still secure versus hey if this is undone and the, the buckles open there it's coming off your wrist here of course you're getting extra level of security because as long as the um, the spring bars are working then you're good to go so with that said let's actually uh, kind of go one by one strap by strap and um, you know really see how these were actually before we do that very quickly price range guys um so pretty much top of the pops here um actually no actually, this one's gonna be the most expensive uh it's gonna be the strap code coming in at 79.99 so about 80 bucks and then we have the bnr bands tactical which is about 60 at 59.99 and then we have this strap here right under 30 at 28 55 so those are the price ranges um i think you shouldn't have a problem with spending that much for a strap if you're okay spending 1500 bucks on something like this that's just a three-hander uh no date um so you know uh, of course there are cheaper pilots watches out there and and cheaper variations of these types of straps but within this realm this is kind of what i'm working with so again let's go ahead zoom the camera uh actually not zoom the camera out but let's uh just see how these wear on all the right wrist. guys so we start off here and wow this is i mean in terms of the colorway it's just so versatile and just makes the watch feel so much more modern uh, and again, I think the keyword here is versatility. You still get the two piece strap. Uh, so for those of you that bought it on a two piece strap, this is something that isn't going to be, you know, too far out of your realm or comfort zone. It still screams pilot watch. It has that beautifully finished hardware on that IWC style buckle. And yeah, this is just a looker. Everything flows really really nicely and it just feels very modern and then again to remind you guys if you didn't see the full review of this watch it has a screw down crown and 200 meters of water resistance so with that capable of a watch now you're getting a really capable strap something that's going to be water resistant as well and uh really be up for the task in terms of you know going with you on your everyday adventure so definitely gives it that nice tactical vibe and we'll go ahead and pull it off here so you guys can get a look at it from this perspective. So check that out, very, very nice. So in terms of, hey, if I was to lay it out for an Instagram shot, that is a good looking pairing there, guys. Very nice, as you can see. Whew. For the full review, definitely find out more about this top grade movement uh, that's been regulated to five positions and decorated. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really digging this layout. I think it's very, very handsome. It suits the watch really well. So, uh, but at the same time, it's not, uh, you know, changing up the formula too much. And that's pretty much the common theme, uh, I think, with all the straps that I kind of chose here is that they are really all meant to work well with this aesthetic without, you know, trying to reinvent the wheel and turn it into something that it's not. Like, it's we're not pairing an alligator strap and all of a sudden turning this into a dress watch. This is a pilot's watch, but now it's a pilot's watch. I think that you can wear in, you know, more situations uh, and then, you know, with, with different types all of All right, clothing. guys, check that out. Here we go on now 
that beautiful strap code slash mail tat canvas watch band with brushed roller deployment buckle, uh, deployant buckle, sorry about that. You got the beige, uh, beige stitching here, which is a nice offset. I think it really brings out kind of those creamy tones from the C3, the really potently applied C3 loom on this timepiece. Again, it's not straying too far. It's not trying to reinvent the wheel, but it does give you a more premium kind of take um, and feel on this uh, watch that I think deserves a bit of a, you know, uh, the premium treatment because it wears fantastically. You can see there everything folds, you know, flows, tucks, and then a little extra safety if this comes off, it's still on your wrist, kind of like a bracelet. And then you can see here, those blue accents look great, even tying into maybe some of the blued screws on the underside, but of course, the blued theme there um, with the beautifully heat treated uh, hands. So really, really nice there, guys. You can see it flows beautifully. Uh, very simple setup nicely brushed hardware it definitely suits the brushing on the case here in terms of being executed to a very high level very finely finished and again yeah this just feels a bit more premium and helps it stand out a little bit more on the wrist um, while also helping it flow really well um, because there's no extra tongue, there's nothing hanging off of the watch. It just feels very tidy, very purposeful. Of course, a lot like the design aesthetic of the uh, Fliegers of the past is very function forward. And then that functionality is actually what helped create the design aesthetic in terms of the form uh, there that we all enjoy so much about these pieces. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on on to the next strap. All right, guys, there's a reason why I saved this Havston for last. My goodness, check that out. It just flows so perfectly. Uh, you're getting, of course, the blue accent, the blued accents, the nicely reinforced, uh, you know, holes there. You're also getting the great uh, brushed hardware, fully milled. You're getting, again, some nice uh, aesthetics here with this matching in terms of that kind of leather backing, which is great. And it just suits this whole thing. I mean, this is why you buy a pilot's watch. I mean, it's to engage in that little fun factor. And yeah, this being kind of a World War II inspired vintage aviation pattern, um, it just makes sense, you know? Um, and then also Havston have done a great job re-engineering the way that these straps lay out, um, you know? So I really can appreciate that. They've repositioned where the hardware will sit to make it feel more like a traditional strap. And um, it, it works for me. And then that's kind of the theme of this watch, right? Is that it's been reimagined and re-engineered and made premium and made more wearable for today's standards versus it being, you know, some 55 millimeter um, period correct piece. It's, you know, it's very subtle here, even on my larger wrist at seven and a half inches. Um, it still looks great. It's very legible. Um, and it tells us a bit of a story. So really, really beautiful. We'll go ahead and undo it, get it off the wrist here. Check that out. The only drawback is now you're not going to see that great movement. So it could save you some money because then you could spec this particular piece out if you were going to order it uh, with the solid case back. Uh, if you were going to wear it on uh, one of these straps, uh, you know, that's something you could definitely consider. You do have the floating keeper. So, in, and then also they've shortened the tail. So uh, for me with a larger wrist, either that tail has to be extra long or it has to be shortened. Otherwise, I'm going to have this like weird, not enough to fold back um, situation and that's never the case when it comes to Habston because they did shorten it so essentially when it comes through I can just you know arrange this here where oh okay it's just gonna hold that tongue like that we don't have to worry about folding it back under and uh, yeah look at that with that single pass-through layout it doesn't put that much more material between you and the watch so still wears really really great and man does this thing look great so very very impressed with this one guys let me know what you think which one was your favorite uh i think 
man, there's something about that gray for me that really, really stands out. Um, and then also, you can really very impressed by strap code and uh, this particular uh, option as well with the canvas. So which one was your favorite? Where would you keep this uh, on your wrist in your collection? Maybe you would just have them on a permanent rotation or hey, maybe you're just going to be like, uh, you know, one of those cool people who are like, oh no, the OEM strap is just perfect for me. Um, so for me, I had a lot of different options here, a lot of different play. And, um, you know, I think, uh, in terms of fun factor, probably this piece right here, then in terms of versatility, I'm going to be leaning towards either of these. Um, you know, obviously I can't just wear this with kind of any old thing well maybe i could um it's just maybe not my style um for me this is going to be very specific uh definitely a lot more casually worn um this is going to be totally ready for every day and uh, this i think as well could give you some great everyday wearable moments um but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like the video please do hit like and if you haven't already please subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys mm -hmm.